Well, let's take a look at the process, shall we, okay. and see how it would work. We can use uh, Dizzy Rascal uh, as an example, and here's a couple mm -hmm. of stack. Uh, so the record label that creates the videos and owns the rights have to agree to submit videos to the rating process, and three major labels, so uh, Sony, Universal, and Warner, have signed up to that. So those videos are then sent to the British Board of Film Classification, which will give the video a rating. So this uh, video was rated 18. And only then will the videos be uploaded loaded to viewing sites uh, such as YouTube and Vivo with a parental advisory warning attached. So that's the process. You sounded sceptical before. Do you think mm -hmm. this will work? I mean, I don't know. I think your next um, slide shows the statistics. I mean, this is such a small fraction of all YouTube and video content. YouTube have a mind-boggling. 65,000 videos a day get loaded onto YouTube. It's 300 hours a minute. Can you imagine trying to police all that content? I know the people at the BBFC are very very busy, very hard working, but that would take a stadium full of people. I mean, sort of just ants on a hamster wheel. They're chasing something they cannot police. I'm very concerned about it. Well, you mentioned the numbers, so let's take a look yeah. at the numbers then, shall we? Because 132 music videos have been submitted to the BBFC by labels since this pilot began in October. 132 of them. Let's bore down into those a little bit more because 56 have been rated as a 12, 53 as a 15. Only one classified as an 18. That was actually Dizzy Russell's uh, one that we talked about before. However, when you compare that uh, with the total number of videos released overall in the same time, over 4,000 of them, it's clear that a lot needs to be done. So, as mm -hmm. you say, more labels need to be encouraged to sign up. It's step one, I guess. Absolutely. But on the other hand, the ones that do, the likes of Dizzy Rascal, that's now become a forbidden fruit. I didn't know about this video until it became an 18 certificate. And we've seen throughout history, the, the songs that are banned, the videos that get boycotted on Radio 1, Off Top of the Pops, these are the songs that go to number one. All they do is become a treasure chest for any curious teenager. I mean, we've been teenagers. That's what you go after, isn't it? And, and that's the, the 18. He's become the, the, the golden spot. Well, that's right. And you say, looking back at history, let's look back at history a little bit, mm -hmm. because it isn't just uh, modern day worries about sexuality. If you look no. at some of these examples from the 80s and the 90s, there have been other concerns as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe take Madonna's Like yep. a Prayer, for example. Uh, that was controversial for different reasons. It was. I mean, this was um, her painting a black Jesus who became her lover in the video, which of course was Madonna. We look back now, it's just Madonna being Madonna, and it seems relatively tame. But you go back further in history, I mean, people weren't shooting Elvis below the waist in the 1950s. So, I mean, I, I always worry about censorship. It's so subjective in terms of we get some very immature 40-year-olds and we get some very okay. mature 12-year-olds. Okay, Karen, so, we must leave it there. Thanks very much. Thank you.